Jovic, oh boy, the seize part, and he goes in for the dunk. Nikola is a guard and he's 6'10". There's not a lot of guys in the league that are 6'10", handing the ball as much as he would and making plays. His skill set that he has really makes him stand out. He's one of the top players in this tournament. Basketball is my life right now, and no days off. I really don't have days off. When I don't practice, I think about it. When I practice, I think about it, of course. Nikola definitely has the maturity to be a pro. His ability, the way he's played in Europe, I think that's going to carry over, and he's got what it takes to be a pro. Everything I did in my life, actually, preparing for this moment, all the workouts, practices, you know, while waking up early in the morning. Now I'm just blessed, you know, seeing here talking to you guys, preparing for a dream come true, you know, hearing my name the 23rd of June. I think, you know, just dream come true. My name is Nikola Jovic. I play basketball, I come from Serbia. So let's just go half court and back, one dribble through the legs, one dribble through. Go, warm up, let's go, come on. Get low though, get low, come on. I started playing water polo when I was say, six or seven. That came from my mother, actually. She was a swimmer. Water polo helped me for sure with mobility, conditioning and stuff. All the time I spent in the water, swimming also my muscles, you know, all of my body. Definitely impressive that he picked up the game late. Although I, I think water polo helps. Uh, you're treading water the whole time. So having that endurance and that ability to continue on even when you're tired. And I think in water polo, you definitely got to play with your teammates. And I think that's what makes him such a great playmaker. In basketball, he understands that it's a team game and the ball has to move and, and get around. Look, he's going to stunt and then he's going to recover. Then you're pushing opposite, okay? Show it, good, nice. Let's go. I started playing basketball at 13. I would say my father got me into it, you know. He was not a professional basketball player, but he was always, you know, playing basketball. He's still playing basketball at his 50s. Good, bring it back, pick up the pace. Pick it up, pick it up, come on. Quicker now. Good, let's go. Quick, quick, quick. They work out three times a day. He goes in the morning, we do a skill session. They go back home, they eat, and then they go to the strength and conditioning guy where they get, the, you know, the physical portion of it. And then in the afternoon, he comes back and we get shots in just to continue to build on and create rhythm and confidence in the shot. Good. Good. Nice. Cool. Let's go. One more. One more. We switch sides. One more. We switch sides. I love being a guard because uh, it takes more skill. And I love really skilled players, you know, more ball handling, you, you need to get a good shot. What makes my training unique is the team that I have with a lot of different styles and we all bring it together. I feel like I prepare guys for certain things that they're looking for. Uh, obviously in off season, I work with other NBA players as well. We have guys that do individual skill work and then we also implement uh, certain actions that they would see in a game. I want you to focus on this. Here, this little burst of energy, okay? Yep, turn, shot. Good. On the way up, there it is. See what I'm saying? He always talks about hard work and the confidence, so that's probably the two main thing I learned from him. I'm attacking next level, right? Here, here, I want. What we worked on. Yeah, Aaron. Yeah, Aaron. We got 10 squats, okay? Big toe into the ground, drive the knees apart. Let's go. 10 squats. I'm Andy Luasis, owner of Core Fitness in Miami, and I'm Nicholas Trainer. So today we just did some mobility on the hips, ankles, some glute activation work, and also some core work as well. Nicola, you can lead it. 10 down, 10 back. We ready? Go. Up and down. We've been working together for about four to five weeks for the pre-draft. I've been training him four days a week. It's really tough, you know, a lot of the strength stuff, also conditioning stuff, but you know, I'm going through that. Nicholas perfect, Mario nice. Where you going, bro? It's a tough, it's a tough exercise, okay? Be ready for it, slow down. Well, from watching Nicola play, 
I can say he's a very skilled player. I think working on, our, on his athleticism has been our main goal here. He's already got all the skill that he needs on the court. Obviously, the, the physical part and the skill set part is extremely important. He wouldn't be here without that. But I think the mental part and mental preparation and continue to believe in yourself and have that confidence going into this league, which is the best league in the world. No days off means being prepared and becoming a pro at this level. People say I'm talented. I want to reach the ceiling of that, you know. Also, I want to win. My whole time when I was in Serbia, my role models are my parents for sure, you know. Everything they did for me, that's priceless, you know. Seeing here, talking to you guys, you know, probably make my dream come true, and that's all because of them. Thanks everyone for watching my video. If you want to check out more stories like mine, you should like and subscribe.